what I'm gonna do is rename this file so let's go into the file and I'm gonna right click and then rename I'm gonna name it comments so everything that we go over I'm gonna create a file and then you can have it for a reference so we just covered comments so I'm gonna name this file comments the next thing we're gonna look at is how to declare a variable so I'm gonna create a new file and then I'm gonna call it declare dash variables dot ts and I'm gonna close this and collapse this and give myself a little more room so to define a variable in TypeScript you do it the same way you do in JavaScript so you use the let keyword so for instance uh, let's say I'm defining a company so I'm gonna say let company and then set it equal to a value in this case I'm gonna set it equal to a string and then let's say Google so this is how you define a variable and it doesn't matter what type of variable you're defining so for instance if I want to define a boolean is male I can set it equal to true and that will work just fine I can also define a number so I can do let uh, let me put some more space here so say let uh, lottery number and let's say this is 77 so you can do it for numbers as well and you can also do it for objects so I can go down a little bit and I can see let person I set this equal to an object so I'm gonna put open and close curly braces and let's say the person object has a name so I'm gonna say name set it equal to a string and I'm gonna say junior and then I'm gonna give it a location so location then I'm gonna say this is gonna be another string let's say Philadelphia so you can also define any kind of variable with the let keyword and that will work just fine. So if I go down and do console.log and let's say I'm trying to log company and I'm gonna do this for everything that defines and let's say is mail and then we're gonna also log lottery number and then lastly we're gonna log the object. So I'm gonna say person and then I'm gonna go ahead and run the code. And you can see we have Google true 77 and then we have our object printed here. And I can also access a property on the object. So for instance, if I want to just print out the name, I can do that. And you can see I can access the location or the name. So if I want to print out the name, I can just select the name, run it again. You can see we have the result here. So this is how you define variable. You use the let keyword. Another thing we have in TypeScript is constant. So we can go down and we can say, uh, we're gonna define a constant. And let's say this is pi, for example. So I can do pi and then set it equal to 3.14, just like that. Now the difference between using the let keyword and using the const keyword is that once you define a variable as a constant, then you can't reassign anything to it. So you can see down here, I'm defining this pi. And by the way, it doesn't have to be uppercase, but it's because it's pi, so that's why I put it uppercase. But I could do something like pi, that would work as well, like lowercase pi. So if I try to go down and then say pi, and then set it equal to something, then you're gonna see that it's gonna give me an error. It's gonna say, hey, there's a constant, you can't reassign uh, something to it, or you can't reassign anything to it. So that's the main difference between the let keyword and the const keyword. But you can use constant whenever you know that you're not gonna reassign something. So for instance, I can say const, and then I can say city, and then I can set this equal to, let's say, New York. And that will work just fine. The only difference is, I can't reassign on this variable. So if I go down again and then do city and then set it equal to another string, you can see that it's giving me an error because this is a constant. You can see I can't reassign it. And if I want, I can console log that as well. So I can copy this, go down here, paste in, remove this, and then I'm gonna try to console city. And then let's say I wanna console pi as well. So I'm gonna comment those out just so we can have a clean output. And then I'm gonna run it again. And you can see we have New York 3.4. Now another thing we can do is to use the var keyword. You can also use var, but I wouldn't recommend it. But you might be asking, why can't we use var? Well, you can. I can say var, let's say hometown, for example. And then I'm gonna set this equal to Miami, for example, I'll say this is my hometown. Now that would work fine. And I can go ahead and uh, console log this. So if I go down and paste this in, and then let's say I wanna log hometown and run this again, you're gonna see Miami. Now, the only difference is with the var, you have global scope and you also have function scope. So those are the two scopes that you have when you define your variable with var. Like if you know JavaScript, then you already know that. But with the let keyword, in addition to global scope and function scope, you have something called black scope. And I can show you a quick example. So if we go down here and let's say I do if 
let's define another variable first. So I'm going to say let, and that's going to be like a dumb example. So I'm going to say let is, what did we do, use up here? So we use is male. So let's do is female. Is female. And let's set this to true. And let's go down here. And I can say if is female. And if this is true, obviously we could have just used the word true here. And I'm going to say let gender equal, let's say we're going to set this to the word female. So now what I get with the let keyword is this variable gender is only available inside of this uh, bracket or inside of this block. So this gender is not available outside of this block anywhere else in the file. It's only available inside of this block scope. And what this does is it helps us write better code or cleaner code when we have, uh, you know, a, a scope like this, which is a black scope. If I were to define this as a var, then it would be available outside of this block. So let's say, for instance, if I try to access gender, so if I do gender, you can see it's not coming up. If I try this, that gender not coming up. So that's the main difference between the let keyword and the var keyword. In addition to function scope and global scope, you have block scope. So that's how you define variable in TypeScript. You can use the let keyword and you can also use the const keyword. The let keyword, you can reassign a, a different value to the variable. With the const keyword, you can't reassign the variable. That's going to give you an error. And for the var, just, just don't use var. Even in JavaScript, the var is not really used if you're using the latest versions of JavaScript. So in TypeScript, don't even think about this var keyword. Just use let or const when you need to define your variable.